In Kerbal Space Program, there are few things more frustrating than flying your shiny new module all the way to your moon base only to realize that the docking port heights do not match up. With large-scale or community projects such as the Upsilon Initiative, a standardized docking port height is needed. However, a simple numerical value is difficult to keep track of and stick to exactly. However, the standard that I am about to show you does not rely on a number, but rather an easy-to-use constant, the length of an LT2 landing leg. The base modules can be any diameter, but here we have used the 2.5 meter diameter parts as an example. Place a docking port exactly on the node on either end of your module. Then, ensuring that angle snap is on, in mirror mode, place two LT2 landing legs on either side of the module, ensuring that they are exactly on the middle. This will ensure that the distance between the center of the docking port and the ground is exactly the length of one LT2 landing leg, no matter the size of the docking port or the diameter of your base modules. In order to ensure a proper docking port height for modules that are not on their sides, first attach a docking port and landing legs as you would normally. Then, using the horizontal base module as a reference, use the offset tool to move the docking port or landing legs up and down so that the landing legs on both modules visibly line up. This height standard will work for all sizes of parts, including 1.25 meter, 2.5 meter, Mark II, Mark III, and 3.75 meter, although it is not recommended to use large, fully fueled fuel tanks, as this may upset the landing gear. Connecting base modules on high gravity worlds can be somewhat of a challenge. I've found that the easiest way to do this is to usually to use wheels. Ensure that the wheels are mounted higher than the lowest point of the landing legs, then drive up to the base and deploy the landing gear. If your module is too heavy and sits too low on the landing gear to properly dock, simply right-click on the landing gear to adjust the spring strength in order to adjust how high the module sits. This can also be useful for leveling bases. Once you are docked, you can either leave the wheels attached for future operations, or you can detach them and drive them away if your module allows it. Another method for attaching modules is to use a specialized module moving rover like this one, designed by German Empire number 1787 on the Upsilon Initiative Discord. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Good luck with your next base!